Hello, welcome to the crafting table. We're here with Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance 2, the Extreme Moon Elf Necromancer playthrough. Getting pretty... We're coming up close here on the end of the game. We've only got a few more things to do. Uh, the Onyx Tower will be one of those things. Uh, the rest of this section, Battle of Bones, and then... Uh, what's his name? Dude's Tower up here. And then that's... Yeah, the, the Battle of the Bones, the guy's tower... That's pretty much it. Well, I mean, the uh, Onyx Tower as well. And then the final fight with him and then his, uh, his one guy, Zanhast. So we're going to have to fight Zanhast, and then we're going to have to fight Morladim, I think is what his name is. Is that what his name is? Mordok. Sel Selanmir. Who am I thinking? Who's more allotted? Oh, that's from World of Warcraft. <laughs> that's an elite quest in, in Dustwood in World of Warcraft is more allotted. Or whatever. However it's said. funny how you can actually see where the skeleton is. If you look just above where I am here, see the shadows moving around if you can. It's more, uh, more skeletons <laughs> that are underground. What kind of visual bug. I don't think hold works on the undead either, by the way. That's why I'm using slow. I'm not really sure what all of my attacks are going to work on Mordog. I think I used Shadow Spray to defeat him last time, so that might still work. I mean, if, it, if I did use it last time, then it will work. I mean, they don't, really just, they don't all of a sudden gain some sort of crazy damage resistance just because oh, I'm already full up. Alright, I am full up. I need to sell. I need to sell. Sell it all. Okay. Minimum damage and shock damage, huh? Make certain you've everything you need before you approach that tower. We'll hold on to like 70, 70 of those. Oh, whoops, did not mean to do that. There we go. Accidentally sold too many of those, but that's okay. We just need to hold on to one flawless ring. Play 
big amulet. Or amethyst, say. Keen amulet. Hopefully I picked up all the gear that I left behind over there. Although I don't think I did. It may have disappeared. That happens from time to time. You'll lose something that was left on the ground. There's the boots. I know there was like an amulet or a ring maybe. I probably lost it. Or I may very well have picked it up because those things aren't that heavy. You can usually pick those ones up pretty good. Or you can usually fit those into your inventory into the tower here pretty soon. Ring of warding, huh? I don't know what that is. Let's check out that ring of warding really quick. What do you do? Oh, sanctuary. Not good for us at all. Sanctuary and dexterity. Freaking 
minion was having none of that skeleton garbage. Battle of Bones 2, uh, keep a pale knight. Oh yeah, here's that crazy enemy thing. These things are super dangerous. He's not immune to slow, he's just too far away. Wait, is my shadow dead? He is dead. It's that crazy uh, junk they put on the ground. I don't even know what it is. I don't know if there's any more skeletons around, but yeah, there are. There they are. That crazy aura stuff that they put on the ground, whatever it is, and that seems to kill very quickly. No clue what that spell is. We'll hold on to like 80. We already have a flawless ring, yes we do. I already have an extra flawless ring. And it looks like whatever was on the ground is now gone. Alright, let's get over here. There's a couple of chests and whatnot you can find. Grab those and see ourselves in. I think we might try and uh, get the staff from the Moon Elf Sorceress. Or the High Elf Sorceress? I don't even remember what she is. I think she might be a High Elf. Although she might be a Moon Elf as well. to have this thing play. Just go run around to all the different chests and try and open them all. Right. 
Don't know where the rest of them are. I think they end up appearing somewhere. Oh, I forgot. You gotta grab... You gotta grab the crap out of them. Uh, the stuff that flies out will stay there, but the gold won't. I don't think there's any more. Hmm. I may have screwed that all up, but... Eh, I mean, it's really not that important. It's just a little bit of extra stuff. Yeah, I probably screwed that up a bit there. But... Oh, well. Oh, there's one. Oh, get away from me. Get out of my damn way. Jarek, get out of my way. Jarek, you piece of crap. Stupid Harper. Okay, so it's silent now. So that, that event is over. Don't know what all I got from it. Doesn't matter too much. Jarek, you piece of crap. I'm gonna side with the Zentarum here in a second. was to try and use uh, Shocking Grasp. Well, I won't be able to find out on him. The Shadows attack, right? or something for it to be more effective, I think. Or is it Shadow Spray? Shadow Spray is just superior. I have to be more of a fighter type, I think. For a lot of this to be effective. Should be coming up soon on the basement section. Right, honestly, it doesn't really matter if we kill these enemies anymore. Plenty of enemies to kill and most likely get us to another level up before the end of this here. I kind of predict we're only going to have one more level up the rest of this playthrough. That's exactly what I was looking for. Alright, there's the spot. Into the keep dungeons. Let's get our shadow out.
Alright, so we need to find all the different levers in here. gems and such. Let's see, we already got that lever. Lever. I saw whatever there it is. Unlock the prison door. I think that stops all the crazy fireball nonsense, too. Uh, Alright, let's recall really quick. Let's sell all this junk. I forgot what plate mail looks like on this dude. Or at least half plate. Oh, yeah. really cool. Maybe I should just wear it. I don't know. Nah. We'll stick with the look we're, that we were using before. Honestly, let's just go with that. Why are the boots off? Remarkable. Oh, it's because they're not enchanted. That's why. I wonder why the boots were black instead of brown. Welcome. I'll pray for your success while you're gone, friend. Do 
What is that? Flawless studded leather is 22. I better put that on before I lose it. Actually, kind of, that should be the look of the, the studded leather after you enchant it, is that. Not the brown one. Down to 70 of those, and I can sell a bunch of this junk. Okay, we are ready to go back. Let's go ahead and grab a recall potion, though. Alright, now we gotta talk to the heroes here. And the one I'm gonna talk to is obviously the Elven Sorceress, because I want her staff from Extreme Difficulty. See how it compares. Let's go ahead and save it first. Alright. Uh, surprised to see a fellow Moon Elf so far from home. She explains that her powerful magic staff was sealed within one of the sarcophagi in this dungeon. Alright, so we gotta find the sarcophagi. Yeah, there's nothing to spend points on. So let's go find this staff. They're usually they're they're all in the different corners, and it'll keep raising these skeletons until we find until we find it. Sarcophagus is empty. Sarcophagus is empty. They're usually in the corners, but apparently there's some that aren't. We have to hurry. There it is. Push aside the desiccated remains of some unknown creature you discover at your eyes. Staff. Alright, staff. Flawless defending staff. Plus three armor class for each piece worn. It's really not that amazing. 52 to 72. Let's see. 52 to 72. That might be worth it, though. Get the other two out of there. Thanks for the timely rescue. Alright, now we can just leave the dungeons. We don't need to be here anymore. What is our armor class because of that? 75. Still won't make a difference. <laughs> see skeletons run, I just I think of the orb of the undead orb thing from the first one. Now we can just leave. These guys aren't gonna do anything for me. They don't really give me that much experience. more this does. Let's see if I can find a willing participant. Still can't really do much to him. Yeah. Ranged is the order of the day, honestly, with this character. Even with the extra AC, it's not doing anything.
That's so weird. It's a weird bug. But that is actually it for today. Thanks for coming by and checking out Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, the Extreme Moon Elf Necromancer playthrough. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Till then, have a great night, everyone.